Hey guys, TechiekHD here again with another video, and today I have my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now I've been wanting to make this review for a while, but I couldn't get my hands on a device that I could play around with for a little while before I could give you guys my full opinions. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's start, get started straight on into the video. The Samsung Galaxy S4 is Samsung's fourth iteration into the Samsung Galaxy line. Uh, well, their flagship line to be precise. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a couple seconds. But at the top of the device, you guys can see an IR blaster, a secondary noise cancelling microphone, as well as a standardized 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right of the device, you guys can see the power slash uh, lock on and off button, which also doubles as the second button that you guys would use to take a screenshot. Uh, at the bottom of the device, we also do uh, have another main microphone, uh, as well as an also standardized micro USB cable slot for charging and syncing the device. And on the left of the device, we do have the volume up and down rocker switch. The Samsung Galaxy S4, in my opinion, is one of the greatest devices that Samsung has ever made. It is extremely fluid and easy to use, uh, and is very, very snappy. The version that I'm testing here is the OctaCore SIM Unlocked uh, International version. While this doesn't have LTE, it does still provide some very fast speeds on HSPA+, etc. Uh, now, as you guys can see, it is very, very smooth, but as with any other phone, it does have its faults, and if you push it too hard, uh, it will eventually start to lag, uh, and as you guys can see here, I was trying to clean out a lot of applications from the multitasking switcher and it did kind of freeze up on me for a couple of seconds. And this device is literally brand new, it's been out of the box only for a couple of days. Uh, but it also does come with some pretty cool features uh, such as air uh, view, I believe this is over here, uh, where you can actually swipe your hand uh, in mid-air to change uh, from photograph to photograph, uh, as well as other multiple features. Now let's talk about the camera on the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is a 13 megapixel beast of a camera and does come with an LED flash. Now the camera software has greatly been improved from previous versions uh, of Android and this is a great skin. Um, or not a great skin really in my opinion, but the Samsung uh, Galaxy S4 does have a plethora of features inside the camera application that can make it very intuitive to use uh, with lots of different shooting modes such as HDR and panorama that a lot of people might enjoy using to take their photographs. Now the shutter is also almost instantaneous with as soon as you press the button you have a photograph, i.e. zero shutter lag. Now, the camera also does have certain very interesting features such as the dual shot mode which I'm about to show you here, which actually lets you make use of both the front and the back camera simultaneously in uh, this little stamp version here where it records simultaneously. You can take a picture like this and I do see how Samsung deems it useful uh, if you guys want to take a picture with your friends and you're behind the camera. Uh, now this device here does also run the latest version of Google's Android software version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Now while it does uh, run this software very very well and all the features uh, of the software are available uh, as usual Samsung does have its uh, infamous touch with skin on top of it and while a lot of people may like this uh, a lot of people also may not like this skin at all because it does completely cover Android and so if you guys would like uh, coming up soon you can actually purchase a Google uh, pure vanilla Android version of this phone SIM unlocked uh, straight from the Google Play Store if you guys are interested. Now over to gaming. While I am showing you a very casual game uh, i.e. Subway Surfers here this isn't really very demanding uh, but the graphics look simply amazing with this uh, 4.99 inch screen uh, with a resolution of 441 pixels per inch. Uh, this is super crisp and clean and the colors are bright and vivid and look really really great uh, in normal day to day use. Now let's talk about the back of the phone. The back of the phone does contain the NFC chip, not on the back cover per se, but inside uh, the back of the device. Now on the back cover of the uh, device, you guys can see, does have this crisscross uh, carbon fiber-esque pattern, which does feel a lot nicer than the plain, smooth, uh, fingerprint attractive back of the Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, and does look nicer in my opinion, and does provide some more grip. Now inside the device, you guys can see this uh, very large battery. I don't remember how many milliamp hours it is, but I will leave it in the description below. Low. It also does have an expandable micro SD card slot as well as a micro SIM card slot. The micro SD card slot is something that a lot of its competitors such as the HTC One uh, doesn't really have uh, and so it is a big plus for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now the back is very uh, flexible and uh, not that strong in my opinion but a lot of people might like it. Now my final verdict on this phone is that it is a really really great and powerful day-to-day -day driver and a lot of people are really going to enjoy using this device. 
I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, uh, and much, much more, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, if you guys uh, would like, please do remember to uh, leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought of this video in the description below.